Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the back to basics of applying black lipstick. This actually applies to pretty much any colour lipstick, most of the basic tips on this. But when it comes to black lipstick, I just feel as though sometimes you need that little bit of extra help because black lipstick isn't that easy to just apply because of one, the colour, to the lack of decent black lipsticks on the market and so on and so forth. So yeah, this is my back to basics black lipstick video for you all. Hope you like it and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so tip number one is always make sure your lips are hydrated. This is a basic lip standard tip. No matter whether you're wearing nude, green, yellow, pink, blue, black, always make sure that your lips are hydrated. So I normally go in at the beginning of doing all my makeup because you tend to do your lipstick last. I always apply all my makeup, but before I do all that, I do the skincare and I always make sure my lips are hydrated. I tend to go in day to day with something like my pawpaw or I will go in with some coconut oil and I'll just pop that all over and then go and apply my makeup. And then at the very end, by the time you've done your makeup, the lip balm or lip oil, whatever it is that you're using, was normally soaked in by then. If I'm going out all day, so say for example I'm wearing a black lipstick and I'm going out early in the morning, maybe for a Sunday fun day, I'll actually use a sheet mask on my lips, like a lip sheet mask. They are so much better and when your lips are hydrated, they always ensure the lipstick stays on so much more. Make sure your lips are always hydrated, both ways by the way, bottles of water and a lip balm and then go from there. So always make sure, tip number one, always make sure your lips are hydrated. So tip number two with black lipstick is what black lipstick are you purchasing? It's so much easier to get a hold of a black lipstick now. When I was growing up around when I was like 14, I started to wear dark lipsticks and me and my friends, could we find a black lipstick? No. We had to go to Quiggins and we used to get Stargazer lipstick. Oh my God, it was like razor blades on your lips. You're like, trying to actually push it on. So in the end, I resulted, and most of my friends did, resulted in a really, really dark lipstick from like, say, it used to be, it used to get like a um, collection 2001 and then I moved on to MAC. So a dark purple one was always really good to get a hold of. And what I used to do was wear it with a black liner just to deepen it up. But it was really hard to get a hold of black lipsticks because black lipstick was for goths and that was it. So. Obviously, I was quite gothic as a kid. It just was like what I wanted, but I couldn't find it in the market at all. You couldn't just walk into Superdrug like you can now and get a hold of a black lipstick. That just didn't happen. However, now you can. And one of the affordable ones I'm going to talk about that is quite good is this Revolution Pro Bad Vibes. It's called Lip Cream. So this is a lip a lip cream and this one's really good if you're looking for something that's affordable and just so easy to go and purchase you can get this in Superdrug. NYX also do some black lipsticks that are really good again affordable ones that you couldn't just go into Boots and Buy back in the day that's only I personally think black lipstick has became really popular since Rihanna sort of I think promoted it for hairline I think since then it's become so much more normal to wear a black lipstick which brings me to the Rihanna one. So I'm just gonna wipe it because some of this seeps out sometimes. This is personally the best lipstick for black on the market. This is a lip paint, this isn't a lip cream. So it's a lot, it's a lot more liquidy when it goes on, it stays on, it's amazing. The only negative, see, that's one negative. The only negatives I have with this is it seeps out the sides. But also, um, how do I put this? So my, this is my second bottle. My first bottle was perfect. My friend bought me it for Christmas. I was so happy because I've been saying I kept, I wanted it and she was like, if she buys that because she bought me it for Christmas. But she got me it and then about three, four months down the line, I wore it one day and it happened just like overnight. I put it on and I could smell fish. Now, I didn't put it to connect it to the lipstick at first. Obviously, as a girl, I was walking around the house like, I can smell fish. It wasn't, I hadn't touched fish. I had fish, I hadn't eff fish. There wasn't fish cooking. Obviously, as a woman, the smell of fish instantly, like you instantly start panicking, thinking where's that smell coming from? And I couldn't pinpoint where this smell was coming from. And in the end, a light bulb went off and I realized it was literally under my nose. And it was the lipstick. So when I, I opened the bottle and smelt it, it stunk. And the only connection I can put it to is when you were in school, this might be a British thing, when your teacher had the square glue that had the big red twisty cap and it had a brush in it, that's literally what it smelt like. And I was like, oh, that reeks. So I took it off, 
Funny enough, I was going into town that day. So when I went into town, I went to Fenty and I just said to the girls, look, you give that a smell. That isn't just me, is it? So the girls, man, she was like, oh my God, no. She was like, I, haven't, I went to any of the other smells. She went, I don't think so. So she smelt all the others. I went, I can't smell them now. I went, once that smells in my head, that's it. So she was like, no, none of them smell. She was like, I'll change it. Obviously, it would pay for customer service. They didn't even question it. Um, swapped it and it was fine and I smelt it and I could still get a, a, stint, a little tinge of that smell but I think that was because that was what was in my nose from smelling the other one made my friend smell it she was like no I can't smell nothing I think it's you I think it's like it's embedded in your brain now um and it's been fine since and but there is now I can still smell it so I don't know if it's me or it is the lipstick like I, I don't know but it is still the best on the market and now when I put it on although I can smell it in the tube when I put it on my lips I can't smell it so I don't know if it's just me and my mental memory of a smell or it does just have that little smell it could be the pigmentation I don't know what makes that smell but yeah that was the only negative I've got with the Fenty but those two are the best ones on the market now and there is so much more there's the NYX one I think NARS have got one out MAC have got one there's loads loads on the market now and it's just so much more accessible and easier to, to purchase tip at number three and this is where the demonstration is going to come in I'm going to show you how I line my lips for a black lipstick and it involves liquid liner so I've done this for years now and it works wonders they don't seep it's I've used pencil liners before, it's never worked, they always end up seeping on the sides. And also, it's just, they just don't last, they come off. Liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner, if you haven't got a liquid at hand, is really, really good. Now, I personally use one like this with a really strong nib, that's really fine. And I don't overline my lips. So the way I line my lips is... I follow, I don't know if you can see, I have got this like white line that runs around my lip. I really want to get lip blushing, but I haven't got the balls to go and get it done. But my lip actually doesn't bother me when that is coloured in. But at the moment, you can see how fair my lips actually are. They're really pale. And then I have a really strong white line that runs around the edges. So I line that white line. I don't go over, because that's like my ridge. Like the, that's the end of my lip if i go over that then i've overlined my lips i don't like overlining my lips but if you do like over overlining your lips you want to make sure when you overline you want to maybe stop overlining about here so i always say when you do this close your mouth that's where you want to overline to and the reason why you want to do that is that's going to bring that area of your mouth forward and it's going to make it appear much more plumper but once you hit there, stop overlining and bring the line gradually onto the lip colour of your lip, your natural lip colour, and just go over the edge nicely and bring it just before the corners. The reason why I say that is you're going to focus the point in the middle of the lip and then on here, it's just going to make it look like that's where your lip naturally is lined. Whereas if you outline your whole lip from outer corner to the centre and then all underneath, they just end up looking like big flat lips. There's no like dimension to them. So I'm going to show you how I do this now. And then I'm going to be quiet because I'm going to have to obviously concentrate. That's another thing. When you're wearing black lipstick, especially black or even like dark purple or dark green, take your time. It's so important. I know when, when I've done like YouTube videos and I've threw my black lipstick on, it, you can always tell when it's not perfect because there's no forgiveness with black lipstick. It will not forgive you at all just make sure you take your time on the lip line of it because once you're filling it in that's easy but this lip liner part is really important like so so as you can see i just need to deepen that up but i have basically gone over my natural white line there and then I, if you can see i've brought it in so it doesn't go over lined on these outer corners that's the most important if you want to just color it in a little bit what that'll do is it'll ensure the longevity of your lipstick but you just want to make sure that you only overline to around about here. Okay, so that's the lip line. And now I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty lipstick and you just wanna take it and go over. 
where you've been. By lining your lip, you instantly know where you're going with this lipstick. And that is basically how you put on black lipstick. Now that isn't it yet, we haven't finished. What you wanna do is you wanna take some of your foundation and you wanna clean up your edges. What you wanna make sure is that every line is crisp and straight. And the reason for that is, again, black lipstick is not forgiven. It will highlight a wonky line the same way if you've done a wonky eyeliner. It's just so easy to see. This is really good as well if you think you've overlined the edges of your lip. So literally you just need to make sure you are tidying it up as you go is all you really need to do. Now, if you're out and about and your lips start to feel a bit cracky or a little bit dry, what I recommend doing is taking some lip balm with you and just taking some lip balm and then see how like, you might feel like your lips are a little bit dry. And it'll just feel as though your lips are a lot more hydrated because obviously when you're using like a black lipstick there's nothing worse than a crusty lip like it's just there's nothing nothing worse if as well when you're out and about you may have ate you may have had a lot of oils anything like that it depends what you've been eating what i recommend to do is always take your lipstick with you if you use the liquid liner it shouldn't come off i've never had a moment where it's came off however if it does because of whatever whatever you've been doing take your liquid liner with you start again fresh so we always carry like a little wipe or like a little pack of pads you can just wet it wipe off and start fresh i always recommend starting fresh if you can because it does work sometimes if you've been out and about and you've been eating but yeah that is how i apply black lipstick and that is how it stays on that won't move now that will just be perfectly fine and then throughout the day i'll either top it up using the lipstick or i will pop some lip balm on the lip balm actually makes it makes it look a little bit shiny. Help it in any on lip, teeth. That's another thing. I always try and get it off your teeth. They are my basic tips on how to apply black lipstick. Hope you like the video guys. Hope this helps if you are someone who's starting to wear black lipstick and or you're someone who wears black lipstick and doesn't seem to want to last or you can't seem to get the right lip line or whatever. Hope this helps and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.